while Next.js gives us some routing conventions to follow, it's actually pretty flexible about how you structure your project files and folders. Let's take a look at file co-location in Next.js. You already know that Next.js uses a file system-based router. Each folder represents a route segment that maps to a URL path. But here is the important part. A route only becomes publicly accessible when you add a page.js or page.tsx file to it. Let me show you what I mean. Let's create a new folder called dashboard in our app directory. Inside it, we'll create a file called linechart.tsx. Here, we will define a simple React component. Default function, linechart, which returns an h1 tag line chart. Now, if you try going to slash dashboard in your browser, you will get a 404 page not found error. Why? Because we haven't added a page.tsx file yet. That is what makes a route accessible. Let's create page.tsx. Now here is another interesting thing. Even when a route is public with a page.tsx file, the browser only gets what is returned by page.tsx and it has to be a default exported React component. Let's see what happens if we create a component without making it a default export. It's a function bar chart that returns an h1 bar chart. In the browser, you can see the 404 page go away, but you will see an error saying the default export is not a React component in slash dashboard slash page. Let's fix this by adding a proper default export to our component. So export default function dashboard that returns an h1 dashboard. Now, when you visit the browser and refresh, you will see dashboard appear. Notice that the bar chart component still isn't showing up. So what is the key takeaway here? You can safely co-locate project files inside route segments in the app directory without worrying about them accidentally becoming routes themselves. By the way, while you can keep your files in the app directory, you don't have to. Some developers prefer to keep their files outside the app directory, maybe in the source folder with a separate components folder for all their UI components. Shatsian library does this for example, and that is totally fine too. Next.js also gives us two more cool features to help organize our project. Let me show you those next. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot.